Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Nerd Tendo on No Fucks Given Radio. Select your player. Player one, start. You're serious, aren't you? About what I do, yes. Not necessarily the way I do it. The thing. Is this dork made of orange rock like the rest of his body? It's a different morality. Get used to it or go home. As long as I'm not that person. The evil one. Well, nobody's perfect, but that's overstating it a little. I'm book shit. I find that answer vague and unconvincing. You're yeah, pretty obscure. Don't you think that's plain damn weird? Your hosts, Mr. DKB and Racer Excess Cash of the Super Smash Bros. and the Unknown Factor. Did it work? Super Nerd Tendo. Enough said. Oh, yeah, because ladies and gentlemen, we're live. No fucks given radio. Yeah, see, I, I did not give enough of a warning or a countdown. Sorry, Razor. Sometimes I do that. I cannot help myself. But this is the official radio. For those of y'all who don't give a fuck, what are you going to do? And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Super Nintendo. See, you know I got them Smash Bros in the house. Razor XX Cash and motherfucking Mr. DKB. What's up, gentlemen? Hello, Factor. So- I don't know. I don't know. Fucking waiting for fucking Beardo. Beardo. I love that name. Oh, right now. I do. Like, the hell's sure Dandor. I love that you love his name. Yeah. I don't love his name. I love the comic book name. That he made. I guess that is his name, too, technically, though, because he's probably got that Chicago. Yeah. So, whatever. Uh, that's Chai's point. Yeah, I do, though. Yeah. The fuck you gentlemen have been up to, though? Just doing Work what we up. do. See, I, I meant to get with y'all on something else earlier, but I think maybe we'll, we'll fucking arrange that. But I got man, been trying to pop out too many videos over here, gentlemen. It's, it's slightly annoying, but that's besides the point. Yeah, yeah, because I gotta, I gotta start something else up. But that's that catch twenty two. But that's some shit we're gonna fucking, uh, you know, we gonna do right. I know fucking DKB just got in the booth and did some shit, right? Yeah. Yeah? See, so you got yeah, some shit. Yeah, I finished up my mixtape, yeah. Hell yeah. See, so we're waiting on At that. At least the recording part, so, yeah. At least the... Re- Do you see, that's... I mean, I, I fucking... When I get done with the recording part, technically that means I'm done. I just have to wait. I don't, man. Yeah. No fucking mixing you do that crazy <laughs> shit it's it's voodoo dude he does you know racer you know fucking dkb some kind of wizard right i know all right might be you are motherfucker i'm already fully fucking aware of that that's besides the point though all right sincerely hey who the fuck's seen spider-man have you guys seen spider-man not yet no i'll probably oh. buy it when it comes out oh I just seen it a while ago. I won't. I won't have no. We won't go no spoilers then. We would, ladies and gentlemen, if they'd fucking seen it, but they haven't. You ever get? Hey, do you ever get to watch the Inhumans? No, not yet. I'll probably have to wait a week till it's on demand. I watched some other bad ones. I watched the Agents of Shield, Ghost Rider, and he didn't even have his like skull face. It was just like a Mexican dude in a leather jacket. I'm like, this is stupid. <laughs> Classy. Like, you can't even see J.I. Like, like, they did it for, like, uh, I would say maybe <laughs> eight seconds, twice, like, you know, and then, like, it went back to his, like, this is regular face. I was like, dude, this is whack. And then when I watched an episode of Gotham. It was kind of weird, too, but it was better than that shit. But I couldn't watch Inhumans yet. I guess The Gifted came on the next night. Like, I heard it's not that good either, but it didn't get canceled like the Inhumans did, supposedly. See, that's crazy to me that that shit already... Like, look, I like the Inhumans. I think... <laughs> here's what I'll say about the Inhumans, which I don't think it gives any spoilers, is um, it very much starts in the middle of their fucking story. Like, as someone that is a fan of the Inhuman comic books, I mean, not like an avid fan where it's like, oh my god, I've read every fucking book there is that's got Black Bolt and Medusa in it, but like... I dig that shit. I've read quite a bit of it. Um, I, I enjoyed it, you know, but I, I don't know. I see, I could see how someone could nitpick it apart if they were a real true, like, heart. Like, if you were a fan of the Inhumans, like I am as dead uh, with Deadpool, I could see how you could pick that shit apart. 
Right. It was supposed to originally be a movie till Deadpool came along, and then they no. cut the... No, maybe that's wrong, because that's ABC. But that's what I thought originally, like, they were supposed to make a movie, and then, like, they... It originally was supposed to be a movie. It was supposed to have Vin Diesel as Black Bolt. And See, they made it to a TV show now, which yeah, I don't know. I don't know why the they changed it. Then it's not owned by Fox; it's owned by ABC. Which is maybe it's Mar one of the maybe they wanted to get rid of one, make an extra Marvel movie like you know the Avengers, and that's how they had to get rid of the Inhumans to make part two of Avengers or something. Well, <laughs> now see, I was honestly. Um... When I was watching it, I was looking at it wondering if they were going to try and use that that series to bridge the uh, the TV universe with the movie uh, with the movie universe with the cinematic universe. I mean, because they're obviously bridged. Uh, kind of. I mean, eh, from what I understand, I mean, the Agent, Agents of Shield has an Inhuman on it, so I think that's where it fucking started. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, because Agents of Shield, man. They that goes had, with the, a, yeah, a lot of inhuman storylines. But it's still in the same universe as the Avengers and stuff, because Agent Coulson's in both. Yeah, see, and that's what I'm saying. I think they're going to use the Inhumans to really try and branch um, oh, the cinematic. I mean, that's what it looked like as far as with the series. Especially not when, now. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you're not. You're right. I mean, if it's fucking canceled and you ain't doing shit now, you know. I think it annoys me, though, because uh, me and you were talking, and uh, you said uh, Black Bolt got beat up by a bunch of cops. That's what I heard. I haven't seen the episode yet. I, I, I did. <laughs> I'm just like, did. the guy that fucked the Hulk is getting... Like, why is he on New York? That's what I don't... I need to see it, but... Z- like, he's I, supposed I, to be on the moon, like, on the dark side of the moon where the Inhumans roll. You know, they this, don't really... This is what I'm saying. They very much... Uh, without spoiling... Uh, I don't really think anything. They They really jumped in... To like the middle of the fucking shit, like it's already got uh, Maximus's brother is already like they introduce. I don't know. They half play it like you fucking should know who the Inhumans are. That's kind of weird because not, not <laughs> popular. I know Ramsey from Game of Thrones is in there. I'm guessing he's the bad guy. But Sam Lee and Jack Kirby made it. You're supposed to know all their shit. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. Ramsey is, he is Long Maximus. Time ago. Yeah, he's Maximus, uh, Black Bolt's brother. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck Black Bolt is. I mean, you know I know, who... like, I know, like, I can, I know who they are, but, like, I haven't read that many stories. I mean, I know who basically, I've known about him for a while, but, you know, see, I always uh... usually see them in guest books or something, you know, like when they're in X-Men or Fantastic Four. Hmm. You know, Crystal dated Johnny, got married to Johnny Storm, and she... Married Quicksilver from the X Men in the comics. I mean, they've always been kind of around, but yeah, they were more. They were way more self-contained in Marvel. They're kind of like Neymar, where they're or Black Black Panther, where they're just they're their own thing. You know, like they live on the moon. Like they can't really fuck with too many people. You know, like oh, you know, you got to have a reason why they're going to the moon or why they're coming to Earth. They don't just like leave the moon. Well, now. First off, real quick, DKB, how the fuck do you not really know who Black Bolt is? Because I'm not a big Marvel guy, for one. And for two, I don't know who the fuck Black Bolt is. And there's like 10,000 characters. He knows a lot about DC compared to Marvel. All right, fair enough. There's probably a thousand DC characters you could name that I'd be like, huh? So, all right. Uh, And like, I don't know, I'm just a fan of Black Bolt just because I think his power is so interesting as far as. I mean, I mean it's a think, cool idea. Well, yeah, man. If you, I know well, the, and I've heard of the Inhumans, but I couldn't tell you Black Bolt. You know what I mean? Like I've just heard that name. Well, yeah, he doesn't he, know the backstory. Yeah, enough. yeah, you notice like he says Black Bolt like is fighting the Hulk in the, uh, like in the comics because he does because his power is his voice, and like because if he speaks, he fucks shit up. But so much so that like if he went, huh, like it would it would fuck up some shit. Like, the tiniest noise from him is destructive. So he, like, he really had to fucking focus his shit to where he didn't, you know, just kill anyone standing in front of him because he, you know, sighed or coughed. Uh. <laughs> like in the Marvel Universe, he's in the Illuminati, which is uh, Professor X, Iron Man, Black Bolt, Doctor Strange, Reed Richards, and maybe somebody else. It was Beast at one point, Neymar. But, like, yeah. they go around, like, 
Well, at one point, that's that's how a Planet Hulk happened. Is uh, they voted to kick the Hulk off the planet. And that's what. And that's when the Hulk came back with his gladiator friends and fucked up everybody. No. What is it now, though? Because the Illuminati got fucking dissolved, didn't they? I mean, well, I'm nothing sure they... exists. There's no continuity anymore. They just—it's like one just weird universe. There's no see. I man, I ain't read Marvel in in quite some. Like time. the Illuminati stuff was kind of like maybe ten years ago, but they like yeah. It's... They did like a mini series where like you know all the major events like the Kree Scroll War. They're the reason that shit happened. They're like the reason the secret invasion happened is because the Illuminati did something, and then the fucking Scree the the Kree and the Scrolls like uh, was torturing them and shit. And then they escaped or something, and then that's when the scrolls were gonna do the evasion because of that retaliation. I mean, it's just like they just wreck like just threw it in there, like you know, like all the major events they made them like they were responsible somehow. Just like backstories that didn't really make you know. I, don't, I can't read articles. That's to look it up. that's really see. I man, I hadn't heard any of that. Like, I think the last. I mean, it was kind of <laughs> cool though. It's like an Illuminati, but like you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's cr- I mean that's greatest crazy. heroes like doing black bag shit and you know killing. At one point, they ended up like killing up, a, destroying a whole universe or something, like one of the because of an Infinity Gauntlet or something. But I mean, like I haven't read them, I just know bits and pieces of what happened. You know. See, the last thing I really got into Marvel heavy, honestly, was um, when uh, the Red Skull was becoming onslaught. Or had became Onslaught, because he did. That was kind of a cool story. They put Professor X's brain in Red Skull's body. So he had, like, Professor X's powers. I I think that's interesting. I wish they wouldn't have just went directly so close with the Onslaught look. Because, I don't know, to me, like, fucking the Red Skull, or Onslaught with the Red Skull's head just looked kind of weird. Are you talking about the Axis, or is that before the... I don't know. I had the Axis, but I can't remember it all. I... I think that's right. Jesus, man, there were so many fucking story arcs right then. It's honestly hard to keep track. Um, that's when all the villains became good guys and all the good guys became villains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was right before that is when the uh, Red Skull was all onslaught and shit. And then, yeah, he did something and it switched everyone. Yeah, I um, have those. I haven't read them, though. It's been a minute. I mean, yeah, I've read them, but I mean, it's been like three years ago. Yeah, yeah, because I see, yeah, they're at least three years old, like fucking minimum. Um, that Not was... even the last thing I bought, <laughs> a last mega arc, because I got I got tired of it. Every six months, there's a new mega. Like the last six months mattered until this new six months comes up, and you're like, cool, man. We're gonna throw whoever's popular. Like they put the Guardians of the Galaxy and everything now, because just the movies. So I was like, man, five years ago they didn't put no Guardians of the Galaxy and nothing. <laughs> like you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true, man, and I, I mean, but you see, yeah, like fucking Jesus, Deadpool's in everything now. What I'm saying they got yeah. if they're on like, if they happens. hit movie movie status, it's they're everywhere now. Oh, oh man, no, if fucking if yeah, once they did that Deadpool though, man, like I swear, fucking I, I stopped paying attention because I was a fan of Deadpool and I like to get pretty much everything that came out with him. And then maybe a couple other other comics, and I was like, like before, even before that movie, I was like, this is retarded. They got a series coming out with Daniel Glover producing it or something on FX sometime, I think. Wait, from what? Year or two. Deadpool. They announced it a long time ago, but I mean, it takes a while for it to make it. I'm sure. Uh, how can wait? They've got a, a a TV series for Deadpool coming up. Yeah, it's gonna be a cartoon, I think. I mean, it's like at least a year old news. Oh, see, I never heard of that. And it's going to be on FX. So what, they're going to do like Archer style shit and just really not give a fuck about what they do? And they haven't shown any of the footage, so I don't know. It's just, you know, they announced it like a year ago. So, I mean, it might take five years for it to make it. I don't know. I don't know. They're making one. I'm sure they might come out before, right around the second movie, I'm sure. That's the way they usually rule. I miss that, Racer. You got to tell me that shit. I fucking, like, you... Like, I don't I didn't, fucking... I didn't know you when that shit came out. I'm sure oh. I would have posted it on our group page or something, you know? <laughs> Post fair everything enough. on our page. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, if you want some fucking news on all kinds of shit like that comic book related, for real, go check out Super Nintendo 
on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? Go check out all those fucking pages and like them and all that, because there's a shitload, you know? Myself, Smash Bros, whatever, yada, 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 yeah. But on to fucking nerdery, yeah. Now, dude, real quick, though, you, and I think we had this conversation, I can't remember if we had it on air or off air, Razor, but, like, what the fuck, you said they, they threw all those events together, and the Illuminati are responsible for them. Why? Yeah, they did, it it was interesting. I, it doesn't. I really feel like I need to research this more. In all honesty, um, well, DC did it too with the identity crisis. They, uh, like, they uh, Doctor Light ended up raping one of the dude's wives, and uh, they basically like mind mind raped him, like, like made him like a childlike and forgot all his memories or whatever. But then like Batman walked in and they had to mind wipe him too, and then caused a whole bunch of crazy shit. Man, DC and Marvel kind of always bite off each other. It's kind of what they do. Oh yeah, they've done that for fucking decades and decades and decades. Yeah. Wait. So okay. Yeah, this is where the Secret Wars is. What you told me about. I fucking. This is the thing. Well, I swear no, to that's different. That's Secret Wars is the last thing they did. It's Illuminati shit was like five, ten, eight, you know, ten years ago. But they they made it so like every mega event. It was just like a back, you know, like they were involved somehow just behind the scenes, you know, they just added it in later, you know. Secret Wars was like all the universes in one universe and they all each had a country and then they fought each other and it was just, I didn't like it. I didn't really pay attention. I was just like, this is, that was the last straw with me and Marvel. I'm just like, I don't need to read this shit no more. <laughs> like they got rid of everything and just like crushed it all into one big box. You're just like, okay, cool. Uh, all I know, man, like, they said they brought up Armor Wars. That's funny. From the Iron Man shit. That just shows you that because it fucking, they were basing it just off the comics and not on the movies. Like, Iron Man. Man, I remember before fucking Iron Man had a movie. And nobody gave a fuck about him. I never liked Iron That's Man. That's how it is. That's how everything is. Once everybody gets a movie. Pretty much, yeah. He might as well find somebody else. What he doesn't even want to do the movies anymore. He's like, he wants to do real acting, I think. <laughs> He's probably tired of playing He's, a guy yeah, in a robot suit. Tony Stark for life now. Probably hates, oh. He probably hates Tony Stark. He's like, fuck this shit. Even though it made him like $200 million or whatever he made. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Look yeah, at where no. that guy was and where he is now. Well, that's like, dude, that He's worth like $230 million. <laughs> like, fuck. Well, Cap wants to quit. You know that, right? Well, he's been doing... He was fucking... Re, or Johnny Storm before he was fucking Captain America. He's been doing yeah. comic movies forever. Wait, how many... He did two Fantastic Four films, right? Yeah, and he's probably... Yeah, both films. <laughs> they were the best ones, though. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, compared to, like, the early ones. Uh, yeah. Or the newest one, they only had, yeah, like, 15 minutes of fighting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, not that I want to. Let's not talk about that film. Or we could and just thrash it. I mean, we do that occasionally here, too. <laughs> I mean, Marvel wrote the fantastic... They're one of the reasons the, the Secret Wars thing happened. Like, Reed Richards and uh, Sue Storm are somewhere in, like, doing some crazy cosmic shit. You know, like, you know, like the, the deity kind of shit just out in the middle of nowhere. And then, like, Human Torch was on the Avengers with Deadpool. And then the thing was in... With the, was teamed up with the Guardians of the Galaxy, which had Venom on the team, and you're just like, okay, man, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I mean, that's kind of cool to me, like, because yeah, I yeah, but I they remember. basically quit the Fantastic Four comic because they don't own the movie rights. And same with the X Men. If you, the new uh, Capcom versus Marvel game doesn't have the X Men in it, which that's a fucking <laughs> part of Marvel. Yeah. You know, I don't Wait. even know if they got Fantastic Four in it, but I'm just saying it's basically Avengers and like Nova and shit. You know, but I'm just like Spider Man, Spider yeah, Spider Man and shit. The shit they own. That's like you, got, you don't got no Wolverine game, Wolverine in that new game. High class, damn. Sorry. All right, Magneto, Juggernaut. Yeah. I mean, you uh, know, there's some good characters, but it's like a new Marvel Capcom versus you know game doesn't have. Any X Men in on it? Wait, now it doesn't have 
any? I uh, know. That, that, man, that just don't seem right. Like, that it has not a single fucking... I, I have to see if I can, like, triple confirm that real quick. Yeah, it's Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. All right. Let's see if I can... I want to pull up player like characters. Alright. I don't believe you. I, I, I'm, just, I'm sorry. I, I truly have to double check that. Because it's just really like, what the fuck? Yeah, I remember seeing something. A racer told me or something. I don't even want that game no more. It ain't got Deadpool in it. You can suck my dick. They might, yeah. They're going to... Venom's supposed to, They want you to pay for him like through the DLC... Yeah, him and Sigma, and Black Widow and Black Panther, and uh, Winter Soldier apparently. Yeah, these are downloaded. I don't really care about those people. Yeah, <laughs> Monster Hunter. Yeah, those are the downloadable content. Yeah, but yeah, that's really fucked up that they don't have a single Marvel. Or, I mean, a single X Men in that. I mean, that's. You can't call that Marvel, in my opinion, if you don't have yeah, any of those agree. characters. They should call it Avengers. <laughs> or, you know, like <laughs> something. No, I mean, you should call it. Kind of... You should call it the MCU. That's what you should call it, because that's what the fuck it is. They shouldn't have sold all the rights to everybody. I mean, I, they did what they did have to survive, but... You know. uh, see, no, but you got to understand. That's why they're doing what they're doing with certain things, man, and I understand that. And it's purely a business tactic by Disney um, slash But I'm just Marvel. saying, like, they write, like now that they, they don't own the rights to, like, the Fantastic Four, they, like, basically wrote them out of the comic books. And the Fantastic Four are the very <laughs> first Marvel superhero oh. team, and that's the reason Marvel okay. became popular was that series alone, which but, I'm not never been a big fan of the series. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. I enjoy it, but, like, it's not my top five of Marvel, but... Without that series, there'd be no Marvel. Doctor Doom. Yeah, Doctor uh, Doom. Black Doom. Yeah. yeah. See, but Surfer, didn't you? The the I, but no, no, no. Look, know, I've man. heard fucking Marvel say, or I've heard somebody from Marvel say, the reason they're doing that is because that's what they they're saying see... though it's just the public. Well, you know, it's like this. That's not what really why. They've, no, I've seen like dude. articles where the writers have said the reasons why this is like they don't own the rights no more, so well, they're just okay, gonna but... write them out of the comics. Yeah, but don't you think, really, that if you see this company continuously putting out shitty film after shitty film, you want to stop making these characters popular so they give you back the rights to your fucking characters? So you can take the company uh, that you know you have behind you and take and make a great film with those characters. Because if they were under Marvel, like... Or you already they... fucking ruined them. Now nobody gives them, they don't give a shit about those oh, characters. Oh, dude, look, no, fucking... You could you could bring that in hard and fucking fuck some shit up. At the same time, the people up. that watch the movies don't have like you know ninety percent. If you of them make a badass me. movie about anything, people are gonna watch it. Well, true, but here's my thing though: like that newest fucking uh, Fantastic Four film, that very the one that was just a goddamn atrocity. But it's so it was saturated with, with superhero movies, though. Yeah, think about. Well, that. just like the Inhumans, if they would have been good. If that show would have took off right now, they'd be putting them in the comic books. But since they're probably just going to get rid of them next, like, yeah, we don't need no, no humans that don't exist no more. Really? You really think they'll I just don't... drop them like that, man? I don't think they'll do that. Well, I'm just I... saying, if, they, if that would have took off, like, you know, like the Guardians of the Galaxy would have took off, you know? Like, uh... that's what I'm saying. Like, those Groot and all that shit's everywhere now. Like, if it, I... you know, I'm just saying, like, Lockjaw would have been on everything, or... That would have been dope, by, by the way, but... I just want to say... Lockjaw and everything would be awesome in my opinion. But here's my thing though. That's like don't you understand them as a company then? Like not wanting yeah. another company I read comic to books for the last thirty years, bro. <laughs> like I know more about it than probably most people. Oh well no, but I mean as a business perspective, dude, as far as Marvel yeah. looking at what fucking uh what is it, Sony? Who the fuck has uh the Fantastic Four right now? Fox. Fox the cartoon. Yeah. He, see, Same here's with the thing. And they and they had Spider Man. They gave him Spider Man. Yeah, no, that like, was I don't Sony. Even think they had to give him Spider Man. Spider Man, Spider Man is Sony, man. Whatever. I <laughs> promise. Yeah, it is Sony. I only, so. yeah, I only say that because I just watched it and it says Sony on it too, bro. Well, Spider Man used to be on the cart, the Fox cartoon. So yeah, yeah. That was owned at Fox at one point, I believe. Oh yeah, X Men was always on the X Men cartoon. It was on Fox. 
Well, that's not even that, dude. Like, they can fucking, like, just because you have the rights to a movie doesn't mean you have the rights to a TV show. Just because the rights, just because you have the rights to a live Depends action TV show Depends what the contract is. Mean. I don't have well, the contract either, though. Oh, I know. They that's could have, true. They that's could, what I'm Fox saying. Fox could be yeah. like, I own all your shit now. Oh, except yeah. Except for comic books. So, I mean, like, I can, I can say they own everything in outer space. It don't really matter. Like, I don't know the contracts regardless. But. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. And that shit fucking shifts around so much, man, that, oh, my God, if we were going to keep track of it here... Yeah, I think one of us would have to fucking dedicate an hour a day to fucking seeing who switched what, and none of us has got time for that. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, that shit's ridiculous, man. Fucking, uh, but the Spider-Man film, man, what they did, it was excellent. But like I said, and uh, what I was saying about the- on Spider-Man, so we'll see. Uh, <laughs> I did. I thought it was good. It was a really good film, in my opinion. Um. But the, uh, there's no Uncle Ben and like Aunt May looks like she's 32. I kind of have problems with stuff like that. But... <laughs> Always nitpicking. Yeah. Well, Aunt May in the comic books looks like she's 100 years old and she's about to kick it at any moment. Yeah. Like, that I can't even true. date this Aunt May. She's so hot. And like, they keep making <laughs> Spider Man like younger. Like, I don't need to see Spider Man in high school. Like, I need to see Spider Man when he's like a 20 year old. Like, I don't need to really see. Like, he's getting younger. It's just getting, like, is he going to be, like, eight next? See, but I think, well, man. They're going to do the Miles Morales Spider-Man next, I guarantee it, if they make another movie. You know how Hollywood loves the kids. Right. Right. Bro, are you trying to get us shot sooner, DKB? I just flipped that. Speaking of kids, I just want to bring up Halloween Comic Fest this in October. Like October 26th is like a free comic book day. Hell yeah. Dan, wherever the fuck you're at, it's loud as shit. What the hell? <laughs> hey, did you hear me? Yeah, we you tell him to yeah. shut the fuck up, though. You're on No Fucks Given Radio. <laughs> Here it comes. I love it. All right, cool. I'm just going to say fuck all the time. It's going to be great. <laughs> well, yeah. It's welcome here. For real. Yeah, I am the unknown factor, yeah. by the way. You know, uh, Race Access Cash, that's Mr. DKB. Uh, this is Dan Doherty, ladies and gentlemen, of Beardo Comics and all kinds of other shit, all right? This is still Super Nintendo. <laughs> I guess we're going to start interviewing somebody. We've just been chopping it up and shit. I feel like we need a break real quick before we go to an interview, guys. What do you think? Sounds good. Like, for real. Like, I want five minutes. Yeah. So, like, I, I wasn't ready for this, though. Dan, you caught me off guard. We was all, like in depth in the middle of conversations about some comic book shit, you know? And then, like, <laughs> you bring what in What's happening right now? Um yeah, No Fucks Given Radio. Kind of crazy, bro. <laughs> I am look, yeah, you know yeah. what? I can't help it I be hearing voices, but this, ladies and gentlemen, is I Be Hearing Voices by Bloody Ruckus, and we'll be right back. Super Nintendo. Never leave me alone I'm losing it all I can't feel this no 
the world like you're trying to prove a point that will not go Over the years I've been hunting my enemies, hop them into the voices in my mind Chasing them down with a bloody machete to say I'm a sociopath with a sign When I be hearing the voices, they will never leave me alone I'm losing it all, I can't do this no more, I am trying to prove a point that will not go Over the years I've been hunting my enemies, hop them into the voices in my mind Chasing them down with a bloody machete to say I'm a sociopath with a sign This is the point of my life Talking to a petty ball Instead of them picking the scythe Then finally murder them all You say these voices in my head Are nothing but my thoughts Why the fuck do I think like this? You should see what I just brought Filled up with evil and this is my mission I'll pull my side out of the net No, they're torturing the voices Now tell me to kill you for cinching the mind of the devil Is what you be missing Murder on my mind Never took the thought of those I'm hearing all these fucking voices And they're telling me what to do Losing it up and I'm taking it back And there's only one voice that was speaking the truth I am a man before anything else If you want me then now you can go fuck yourself I am bringing you hell deep inside of a cell You don't know who I am but I'll finish you well I'ma get you niggas one more one I have my problem everything in my life is gone Someone take me so I can fix whatever I did wrong Every night I be creeping around with the 9 millimeter loaded And we're ready to take a hit, bitch Now you is running like, oh shit Almost out of time, I ain't your leg And the dead with a slug in your head Second up, body parts so high They will never get me, not even the feds When I be hearing the voices They will never leave me alone I'm losing it all, I can't do this no more I am trying to prove a point that will not go Over the years I've been hunting my enemies Hop them into the voices in my mind Chasing them down with a bloody machete To say I'm a sociopath at the sign When I be hearing the voices They will never leave me alone I'm losing it all, I can't do this no more I am trying to prove a point that will not go Over the years I've been hunting my enemies Hop them into the voices in my mind Chasing them down with a bloody machete To say I'm a sociopath at the sign Walk through the path of a demon to get it, I guarantee you that you will end up dead Wearing a rip for the blood of the enemy, there is a voice up inside of my head You cannot believe it cause I come from the stand, I'm gonna take it this and I'm gonna put you in your place There's a world with a head, a world of fucking trust, a bullet got a his mouth and I shot him in the face Walk out the house with a knife in my pocket, the blood that I worship is making you bomb it I pull my knife out and you tell me to drop it, I will never do it, I will never stop it The voices of death that I hear in the night is amazing to me cause I scared you with fright I get up on stage and I rip up the mic, I just heard them again and they want me to fight As I stood the post and after what I did, I shouldn't be alive right now, I don't deserve to live I fell down to the floor after the police came and shot me I learned from my mistakes as they were begging up my body One voice left, that's all I hear now Telling me to burn in flames, but what the fuck, I'm right here now 1993 to 2011, I'm a crazy motherfucker who refused to go to heaven I'll be flipping off the river for the shit that he be selling You can put me back into the dirt, I'm never going back to Bellin When I be hearing the voices, they will never leave me alone I'm losing it all, I can't do this no more I keep trying to prove a point they will not go Over the years I've been hunting my enemies Hop them into the voices in my mind Chasing them down with a bloody machete To say I'm a sociopath at the sign When I be hearing the voices They will never leave me alone I'm losing it all, I can't do this no more I am trying to prove a point they will not go Over the years I've been hunting my enemies Hop them into the voices in my mind Chasing them down with a bloody machete To say I'm a sociopath at the sign I be I be hearing voices, 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 I be hearing voices. What the fuck is that? Up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. Ah, shit. These goddamn aliens are trying to eat my broadcast again. So as they say in Canada, 
tune in to Aliens Ate My Broadcast every third Tuesday. I mean, there must be some way. But fuck it. <laughs> yeah, we don't give a shit. We're full of shut up. Doomed it, shut up. up. We just might get into some crazy shit. Conspiracy theory, anarchist, fucking antichrist. We better think of something. Yeah, that'd be even better. We better think of a way. Your host, Mr. DKB, and myself, the unknown factor. You're both pieces of shit. Yeah, I can prove it mathematically. Try and catch Nessie with us. Fuck, we might even find Bigfoot or some shit. Does evil exist? And if so, can one detect and measure it? Um, rhetorical question, Morty. I'm just going off on rants. I love it. The answer is yes. You just have to be a genius. Numbers, man. It's all about fucking numbers. Everything adds up. Right here. I'm no fucks given radio. God damn it! Stop eating my broadcast. Peace out. Be fine. Ladies right. and gentlemen, he thinks it's going to be fine. I'm not so fucking sure because I'm the unknown factor. I do know that, though, at least, right? Also, no, I still got them Smash Bros with me. Yeah, Race Excess Cash, Mr. DKB. What up? Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, we've been chopping it up comic books, just like talking all kinds of shit. Really bitching about comic books more than anything, guys, is what we've been doing. But now, yeah. We got Dan Doherty, yes, right? That man from Beardo Comics. What's up? How you doing, guys? Well, Dan. You hearing me from New York? I'm, I'm in New York. I'm inside of it. <laughs> I'm inside of the Big Apple. I'm, I'm like a big old worm. Nice. Man, like, I, I so want to be like, did you buy at dinner? But I feel like that's only because I've been watching too much Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Cool, man. Very cool. You know, yeah. terrible. So how you guys doing? Man, we're doing pretty good. Thanks Very for having good. us. Yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm uh, I'm excited. I, I think I'll be seeing you guys in Kokomo pretty soon, right? Or at least somebody. I'll see, right? I'll yep. see Racer? Yep. You might Will see I see everybody? You might. Hell yeah, you hopefully. Know. Hopefully. Like, oh. I'm, I got... I, I got, yeah, there's there's things and other things, and because my ass has got, I got to go to Wisconsin this weekend for uh, Terry and Titletown, and then I got some uh, fucking other shit going down uh, the cool. next weekend trilogy, you know what I'm saying? But I know for a fact, Dan, you got some shit going down tomorrow. What's up? I do. I will tell you, I am, I am proud to say I'm doing my second year at uh, New York Comic Con, so I'm going to be in that artist alley in my books, meeting some people, uh, hopefully doing a lot of commissions, and uh, kind of generally just living the dream. Hell yeah, man. Congrats. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great show. Uh, it was my best show last year, so I'm excited to come yeah. back to it. Um, it's, uh, it's, I'm definitely out of my element here, I'll be honest with you. It's a weird... Uh, sure. Vibe to feel like there's a town bigger. I'm from Chicago, which I thought was like pretty big. Um, right. Chicago's good, and New I've York is it. just like, yeah, it's, it's a little <laughs> mom and pop shop. <laughs> Might have known. I've been there a time or two. Uh, we uh, we are definitely in a in a different league here uh, in in New York. If I can paint a picture for you guys, I. I'm now currently accidentally walking in the street <laughs> Wait, there was, because there's construction and they had like one of those like, we're going to make a sidewalk for you, but it's, it's hidden. And I didn't see it. So me, Gavin Smith, and Ali Cantarella are navigating in the street like a bunch of idiots. I just walked into her face. Yeah, she, if you could hear her in the background, she's like, yeah, stop doing this. <laughs> It's a really bad idea. We gonna so we gonna get live. all kinds of fucking comic book artists, writers, shit just killed live on the air, guys. I'm not I'm not <laughs> sure this was the intent with the show, but I bet it gets ratings. Yeah, I'll tell you this this might be our last recording of these three, <laughs> of these three artists. Remember us <laughs> as we lived, not as we died, stupidly. <laughs> but we're, Congratulations uh, on the, having a kid before. Yeah, before I die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah the, my my baby boy is uh, safe at home right now, not in the street. His name is Elliot. He's awesome. He's my uh, he's my number two. Uh, and uh, my my daughter Audrey is a really good big sister for him right now. But yeah, thank you for that. Appreciate that. Well, I'm really glad he's not walking with you right now, Dan. <laughs> no, that, that would be bad parenting. <laughs> so, but yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm in New York. Uh, I, uh, I've been off the, the con circuit 
because, like you just said, I had a baby. Um, so this is kind of like my show back. So it's nice to come back to like a really big one and and hopefully repeat what what happened last year. I can dig it, and you'll be in Kokomo Con next week, correct? Yeah, that's my and that's my last show of the year. So it's nice to end on a on a more uh, like kind of familiar kind of show. Like that show is kind of like family to me at this point because uh, I've been going. I think since the beginning. I think I missed like one of them, but I've been to all of them otherwise. So it's just a it's a nice show to like connect with my people and and see you know all the good faces and everything. Have a good time. I always see you there too. It's always awesome. That's right. It's where the Super yeah. Smash Brothers are from, so that's where we roll. We rock the Kokomo Con. Yeah, yeah, right on. Yeah, um, I'm gonna try and get my ass up there this year. It's it's a fucking it's a goal to be there this fucking coming what what is it the fifteenth, gentlemen? Fourteenth. Fourteenth. My apologies. Fourteenth. I was close, guys. Right? You tried. But you tried. I did. I tried like a motherfucker. But I want to know. Right, Dan, when you went out to that New York Comic Con and tried that shit out for the first time, right? Because that's a big fucking con. What was that experience like? Uh, the first time in New York. Yeah. It was. I, I mean, again, it's it's a it's a big, uh, kind of intimidating show, but it's nice to feel like you're kind of in the presence of all your heroes too, because there's a lot of like crazy big talent right in the same row as me uh like trad moore uh jill thompson uh i mean there's a crazy list i can't even think of right now like yeah, pretty much everybody <laughs> yeah yeah if you if you check out the artist alley list um sorry one second one second 34 i think we gotta go that way okay yeah i think so stay sorry, out of the street problems <laughs> We're yeah. having those New York problems right now. <laughs> now we're getting honked at by a taxi driver. So I got two. I'm, I'm walking with like two very attractive ladies, and it's a it's a problem. <laughs> yeah, and she's so they're getting honked at by a lot of random cars, a lot, a lot of randos. So that's that's another part of New York that you're gonna get. <laughs> um, I've seen this episode but, of Night Court. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, I mean it's a it's an amazing show. Um, I would definitely recommend it to anybody, uh, whether they're on either side of the table, like as a creator or a fan. I mean, uh, it's a it's a read pop show, and those tend to be the shows that I do the best at, like C two E two, Emerald City. This one, I mean, they're all they're all the kind of shows that that bring people at my level together with like people who are where I want to be or just the heroes of mine. And then I get to see all my friends or at least a good chunk of them and have a good time and, and, uh, and see a little bit of, of the town before it's all over, which is usually too fast. There's going to be a satellite coin reunion. <laughs> I will. Yeah. Cause I'll, I will see Dirk starting tomorrow. <laughs> so we will, we will bring the clip together and, uh, <laughs> And uh, make something happen. I don't know if we'll get any karaoke in this weekend because we're both kind of like pulsed in every uh, which direction at this show. But uh, I know we got some plans for karaoke next year, so the the clit will return. He just blew some minds, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> the clit will the clit will yeah, return. Yeah, if you can find it. Once you find the clit, you never lose it. That's right. Huh. It's like riding so, a bike. Yeah. Yeah, but it's uh, it's exciting, man. I honestly, if you, if you can get out to New York next year, you should. You got any premieres or exclusives for the con? Well, um, sort of. So I got the the end of Beardo print, which I don't think has been at any show yet. Um, and I, I just recently ended Beardo um, after ten years of doing the strip, and my final my final strip kind of blew up in a way I did not expect. So I. Uh, I made a print of it that's been doing really well online, but I don't think I've actually had it at a show yet. Or if I did, I think it just maybe it's a one show. So I'm excited to see what it does here. Like it, it seems like it's already got a lot of interest and traction, even even um, just setting up today. So that should be cool. I was supposed to have a Beardo enamel pin, but uh, the the manufacturer kind of dropped the ball a little bit and couldn't get it yeah. ready in time. 
So I'll have that ready, though, on my, on my site. Kokomo Con. It'll be at Kokomo Yeah, it will Con. be. A, yeah, so that's the good news. It'll oh, be yeah. at Kokomo Con for sure. So we'll, we'll definitely, I'll definitely have it there. I mean, if anyone's interested in any of this stuff, uh, you know, quick shameless plug. I've got all of it on my website, uh, beardocomics.com. But, um, yeah, man, I mean, I, that stuff plus uh, I think I got a couple new kids' books. I've got a um, thousand no's and uh, Do You Speak Fish, which are two kids' books that I uh, collaborated with uh, DJ Corchin again on. So I got a lot of new stuff for the show. It's, it's exciting. Right on, right on. You also got Touching Evil. Let me want to tell everybody yeah, about that's that. What, yeah, that's one thing. You, collect, you go from everywhere from horror from horror to children's books. Yeah. My table is kind of like a schizophrenic nightmare. <laughs> it, just, it, it jumps all over the damn place. So it's like, it is good though. I mean, I stand by it. Like I love everything that is on my table. Otherwise I wouldn't put it on it. So, um, yeah, touching evil, the hardcover's out issues eight and nine are out. Uh, 10 will be out very soon, actually. Uh, the new issue. I'm and then I'm planning on, you know, Oh, Hey, so, uh, Racer, have you seen issue nine? No, I'm waiting for Kokomo Con. Okay, get ready because you're in it. All right. Mm, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, you're in it. You you were the first to die. Congratulations. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Yeah. Yeah. I I I checked you off the list first, so you're you're first and foremost on the because Racer was nice enough to uh, to back the first uh, Kickstarter for the hardcover. So. Uh, the, the level he backed at, he got a um, he got to be killed in the book uh, as a character. Um, Looking forward to it. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, oh, and yeah. what's cool um, for you too, man? Like honestly, not only did you get killed, but you show up again a couple more times uh, throughout the story. So you're not done just in that issue. So congratulations. <laughs> we I'll be signing yeah. autographs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Get ready to get uh, famous for your death in, in a comic. <laughs> I'll cosplay as my character at Kokomo Con. How does that sound? <laughs> Dude, yeah. wear, your, wear your Astros uh, uh, jacket that you've got. That's what I put you in. <laughs> so Sounds good. You'll be set. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yeah, you're in there. And uh, I'll have a couple copies there for sure. Um, I had to actually restock up for this show. And I'm, I'm low on it. But I'll make sure to save you a copy. Because uh, obviously you paid for it. But I want you to see it. <laughs> I definitely um, gonna see it. Yeah. Uh, no, it looks it's, it's really cool though. I think you'll like it. And then you, you haven't even seen anything yet because you're gonna keep popping up. Um, mm. But yeah, man. So that's that's um, that's kicking but, in. Uh, issue ten should be out soon. Kickstarter next year for the second vo- second hardcover. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what people think of it. Well, man, can I ask? I mean, damn, Dan. Like DKB was saying. And you were saying you're telling you it's a fucking schizophrenic nightmare. Like, what? Like, what makes it to where you put in to write all those different styles? Like, what makes it to where you don't want to settle in to less? Uh, I mean, well, not even one particular genre, but I mean, what makes you want to have such a wide span? I mean, you usually don't see a lot of writers. Having that, like, fuck, I write horror, and I write children's books, and I write, you know, fucking a comic strip, and I, like, most motherfuckers don't say that kind of shit, I think. Yeah, uh, I don't know, I mean, I, I like, I like challenging myself, like, I like doing, I like doing a lot of different things, and I thought that too, like, maybe I should just stick to one lane, uh, to be smarter and business savvy or whatever, but, I don't know, man, like, it's worked for me, in a way, all my books have like their own little audiences um and i kind of treat them like like my audiences for each book uh book is are, are kind of like spartans like there's like not a lot of them but they're very dedicated you know so like i can put a book out and know that i got my people for it uh and let that help start it out uh and see where it goes like beardo you know uh for a long time i didn't really have a crazy big audience for it um and it wasn't until the end of it that all of a sudden it blew up. And, like, now I've got, like, you know, 13,000 people on Facebook and all these other people on other social media. And that last trip got, like, six and a half million views. And, like, all this stuff happened. But I don't know. I'm, I'm like, 
I, there were times where I thought nobody gave a shit at all. So it's nice to know that it actually worked out. And that's kind of happened with all my projects in some form or another. None of them have blown up like that, but they've all kind of gotten their own love enough for me to feel like, oh, I, I just want to keep doing this. And I, I, and I enjoy it. I, and I kind of have to follow the things that I enjoy because otherwise I, yeah, I give up on them pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my table's kind of, you know, it's, it's still kind of a mess. I even have like my music down there too. So, uh, I, I didn't even mention this. I'm, I'm debuting my, uh, by my vinyl record here at New Ooh. York Comic Con. So, uh, we'll see how that sells. I might not sell a single one, but I'm, I'm putting it on the table anyway. I want to see if people do. That's cool. All right. so, and yeah, we didn't even get into that. The fact that you're also a musician, like... Dan, where do you find oh, time for little, life? Tell us about your band real quick and break it down. Oh sure, yeah, man. I got like a I got a rock band. It's like a five piece band with uh, four singers in it, so it's it's a lot of harmony singing. Uh, but we've got like really, really good, really good tunes. Like it's it's uh, we've kind of been compared to like I don't know, like if some of the more modern rock stuff still had some of that old like. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, or even like maybe Fleetwood Mac kind of harmony in it, because we've got that that vibe of like having mostly male singers, but like we have this one powerhouse girl singer. Um, and so I write most of the tracks um, on this album, at least. We're uh, we're collaborating on a second one that I think will be a little more even. But this this album's a lot of me uh, and my songs, which tend to be like kind of storytelling songs, where there's like a there's a fun like narrative follow in it, but it's also got like a good, like a good hook to it. Um, I'm also, by the way, right now being videoed while uh, podcasting, just to give you a head up, heads up. Um, <laughs> it's some crazy shit's happening behind me right now. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, like, I'm really proud of the album, and we kickstarted a vinyl version of it, which was successful. So I've got these 180 gram records uh, that make us look like total badasses. Uh, to, to sell a show. And we just actually played a show where we opened up for uh, Living Color and Bare Naked Ladies. So things have been going pretty good for the band. Very cool. We're yeah, play one, at least one of the tracks before we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Oh, hell yeah, uh, man. Which track you, which track you going to play? I don't know. Uh, I was going to let the me. conversation determine that, to be real honest. That's just... Kind of how I do over here. No fucks given, man. It's true, man. You know it is, racer. Right? Right? But I'm curious, right. man. Like, with Beardo Comics, like, because I, I, man, I've been fucking thumbing through that for the day for, like, any, honestly, any time today I had some shit processing, which has been a lot, fucking compressed, whatever. I've been sitting just clicking through, uh, because I found a spot, just had all the strips and just reading them. Um, dude, I want to know what inspired you to, like go with that format specifically for what you did there. Like what? Because there, I'm like, what the fuck was the thought process, Dan? There was one. I know there was. Uh, what inspired me to do the format is what you said for the for Beardo. Yeah, as far as just to to write it in that format and the way you oh, did yeah. to present it like that, as opposed to it, you know make it a more long uh, longer format. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I. When I was starting to do it, it was supposed to just be like a little hour-long sketch that I would do after work when I worked at Starbucks. Like, I'd, I'd come home from my work, my my day job, and I'd be like, ah, man, like, I didn't get to do my art today. And I'd be all frustrated and shit and, like, not knowing, you know, if I'd ever do anything. This was, like, 10 years ago. So um, I t- kind of started telling myself, okay, you know what? You can't do all these big pieces. You can't make these big extravagant things but you can do like a strip a day and so i come home from work and i would sit down for like an hour maybe an hour and a half and i would just make a strip about whatever happened and pretty soon i had like 20 or 30 of them and i i started posting them on myspace because that's what it was at the time (laughs) um and people liked it so i kind of stuck with that i i kind of stayed true to like where it started which was just this little exercise when i was you know frustrated at the end of my work day Word. Hell yeah, man. And like I said, I don't know. I, I was thumbing through quite a bit today. And, and dude, there are two questions I just have to ask you based off the strips I, I read. One, sure. Dan, do, do you have a butt chin? <laughs> I do, yeah. You <laughs> <it> right, right, <laughs> David. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about too. I do have a butt chin underneath this beard, and I, that's why probably why I have the beard. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask. I'm sorry. I, I read that in the strip, and I was like, "Oh my god, I have to ask this fucking question." Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that, that shows you really have been reading because that's like a deep cut. Yeah. yeah, and and the other one, man, y- you really think we just miss a shitload of beautiful moments in life? Yeah, I, you know, I feel like I miss stuff all the time. Like I constantly feel like, you know, when you're doing one thing. It's, it's a weird dynamic because it's like you're doing one thing and you always feel like there's something else out there that you could be doing, which maybe might be, I don't know if that's more specific to me or not, but uh, I have to learn that like, yeah, that thing's out there um, and maybe I should make more time for it if I, it really means that much to me. But whatever I am doing, I should be also appreciating that. Like if I'm with my kid, I should be with my kid, you know, and not thinking of work or like on my phone. Um and if I'm on my phone, I should be doing something with it, like talking to some cool dudes at a podcast, you know, like just sure. to kind of be, you know what I mean? Just to like be present in whatever I'm doing um, and then maybe make it more of a priority to do things that I think are important, you know, because it's, it's, it's already going too fast. Like uh, being a dad. Live is, once. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, you do. It's, you get the one shot <laughs> and, and parenthood like speeds up life. Like you just, you move really fast and you realize like a whole week has passed uh when you blink and then pretty soon it's a month and pretty soon it's a year and pretty soon like you know it's over so tell me about it i got two cats ah oh, shit <laughs> well <laughs> and you know they I got know. nine lives though so they can do whatever the hell they want but uh but uh uh yeah i mean it, it it it's uh so that's it is how i felt especially when i did that that last trip and uh, it seems to be how a lot of people feel. And I, I think that's, that's good as long as you know to, like, to do something about it and try to be present. That's what I've got written on my drawing board all the time, to just be present. I dig it. Hell yeah, man. Look, I really, I like that. And like just from going through that and really reading today, like I said, I, I took away, I think it's interesting, you go from you know, a strip like that where there's obviously a far deeper meaning to, you got a butt chin. Dude, that's awesome, Dan. I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm all over the place, but I stand by it. I'll take it. Hell yeah. You want to get one of your homies to get online? Uh, I don't know if they can hear. If I, I'm going to try to put him on speaker. So here, I'll, I'll have him do a quick shout out here. If you guys don't mind. You're going to sing a, you want to sing a song? Why did you? Yes. Okay, they're going to do something. I'm not going to say what it is, but I didn't say what it was, though. <laughs> ready? I think on. I cracked your code. Okay. Okay, so I've got... One, <laughs> okay. two, three, yeah. All my life, I pray for someone like you. And I hope that you feel the same way too. Yes, I pray that you the same way, too. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> he just Wait, got serenaded I, like a yeah. motherfucker. Look at For that. For real. Hey, Racer, <laughs> DKB, I never thought we'd get serenaded on the show we hosted. <laughs> six to midnight. Sorry. <laughs> So, yeah, that was courtesy of Ali Cantarella, Nikki Royal, and Gavin Smith, by the way. So, you're, you're welcome. You just got, Hell yeah. You got hit. You just, <laughs> Normally, I charge a ludicrous amount for that. Yeah, Gavin's appearance fees for his singing are out of control. <laughs> so, that, the fact that that was free, you really should feel great. It was right lovely. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It All has. Right. Hey, I right, mean, it's been a pleasure for real, man. Like I said, I really, getting into your beer and comics, I really like the intricate levels. I really, I mean, I now want to fucking take a look at some more of your shit oh. I honestly wasn't aware of the horror shit, but, man, I know. We've been Bob I know. Howard with Uncle Raffi and Apocalypse Plane. Yeah. Those both classics. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. Rotten. Rotten. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know shit. one of you two's. Yeah, I know one of you two's got a question, so drop the man a question. Go for it. Uh, how long do you plan on doing 
touching evil. Uh, I'd like to do it for three collections. That would be my, my dream is to get it to that. Uh, so, uh, I've been picking up my pace, uh, lately, uh, juggling that with some, some other projects I'm doing, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's meant to be like a three volume thing. Although what's been cool is hearing other creators, uh, and, and fans even talking about directions it could go in, um, because this, the premise is so open, you know, it could, it could exist in any time period with other carriers, the, the curse. Um, so right now I'm, gonna, I'm, Mystery, what? Dirk Dan. <laughs> yeah, you know, you saw, you saw that crossover, right? I was reading it today. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the, the sky's the limit with the premise. Um, the story I want to tell, I want to tell it in like three. So, um, hopefully it, it has legs beyond that. I think I might, I might entertain some other ways of doing it in the future, but uh, I definitely want to do it for a while because it's just, it's such a fun and kind of wicked thing to play with. Um, do you have other so, plans but, after the book? Like, do you have another project in the works? You're thinking how to go after that book, or? Yeah, like as far as something that I write and draw. Yeah, yeah, like, definitely. Because I do a lot of like, I do a lot of freelance work for other people too. That's kind of like that helps pay the bills, um, and it's also a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong, but um, I, I I tend to juggle like uh, maybe illustrating a couple books a year and then doing my own thing. So I got a lot of the the former in there. Uh, I've got this other project I want to work on. I'm not going to tell anyone about it yet, but I definitely have one to follow up uh, with after Touching Evil. And I think people will like it. I think it's a good combination of all the things that I've been doing so far. Very cool. You did some stuff okay. for Sexy Beer Club Press for us? I did. Yeah. In fact, I was I was slipping through some of my uh, my portfolio pieces uh, the other day, and I saw that really cool, uh, that fun one of that bar fight that I got to do for you. That was really <laughs> One of my favorites. Uh-huh, uh, yeah. That was such a cool uh, piece to work on. That's in my preview book. I'll have a Kokomo Con if anybody wants to get it. Yeah, it. please do. And I will sign the hell out of that if anybody gets it. Very cool. Well, well I'll just bring my copy if I yeah, and make you sign the hell out of it. I will. Do, I will sign whatever <laughs> you put in front of me if it's if it's from Racer. Yeah. Even wait, 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 wait. Even a copy of his CD. <laughs> Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't yeah. know, I don't know why, but he said anything that was, that was involved with Racer, and I, I just had to put it out there. Like, I was curious what you know, he do. Did somebody <laughs> just really like thought, yeah. slap down Stoplight <laughs> City in front of you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Racer's been up to, so I maybe should I should have qualified that with put the more specific answer. I do have a Pornhub channel. That's all you gotta know. No. <laughs> <God damn> it. <laughs> Man, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> I'm gonna take hey, it on a case by case basis, but I'm gonna try to sign as much shit as possible. It's a good, it's a good move. It's, it's a good that race yeah. to XX. <laughs> it's that race to XS tack, man. That's what it is. That's your Pornhub <laughs> channel, isn't it? Yeah, I can see it already. This is this is when we're not gonna take it that sideways because I don't need those visual images, racer. The fuck are you talking about? You got a Pornhub channel? Jesus Christ, DKB, crazy, fucking ah. <laughs> oh man, shit! I'm in for some trouble in Kokomo. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I'm just gonna make you fucking sport a no fucks given T-shirt. Like, no, do it. <laughs> God damn, I, I got fin- kids, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, that's whatever. That's what everybody says about my shirts. It's like, like, man, that shit's really offensive, and they are. The backs of these shirts list all the show names, and yeah, yeah, Dan, it's. Can they think. put like another word over the fuck part, like like pancake? Yo, it's on no, the front pancake. part. On the front part, man, it does like the fuck is censored, like the U and the C. Okay, it's the NWO so. logo, kind of. Yeah, but on the oh, back, but on the back, oh, yeah, none of that true. shit's censored, and it says a lot of terrible things. Cause... Oh shit! Okay, there's some good I'm stuff bring, too. I'm gonna have to bring my marker and some tape. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to use tape. I'm waiting for somebody to be like, yeah, dude, you know, I fucking taped over a back of a bunch of those shows because, you know, I wanted to wear my shirt around, but I was, like, getting dirty looks or some shit. Oh, man. <laughs> Talking shit. about stuff Okay, I'm in shit. trouble. Whatever. Who gives a fuck? Man, no. The world is in trouble. Dan, are you shitting me? The fact that you can't <laughs> wear that shirt in this country and fucking, or you can't fucking wearing that shirt in this country causes any kind of fucking problem is a fucking problem in and of itself. But that's a whole different point. And that's 
way beyond the point. I'm getting on some no bullshit zone. DKB, flip it back <laughs> for me. Yeah, I don't know how to follow that up. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong about the world being fucked up, but I, I don't think my shirt's going to solve it. Well, talking about <laughs> stuff ending, uh, when you came to the realization that you were in and beer, though, I mean, what kind of thoughts were going through your head at that time? Uh, <laughs> it was tough. Um, it, it certainly was uh, a decision I've been thinking about for a lot, a, a lot of time over the past like year or so. Um, and I'm glad I ended it where I ended it, but you know, it's it's a little tricky to do something for ten years and get used to doing it, and then right. have to like end that. But I'm ending it for good reasons. Like you know, I've got a lot of projects uh, that I want to work on, and I, I got you know, Touching Evil and a lot of other avenues to explore. So like. It's not like I'm ending it and just sitting in, you know, my own filth all day. Like, I'm, uh, I'm excited about what I'm doing now. Uh, so it's a little bittersweet, you know. Um, but I'm glad again. I'm glad I ended it where I did, and uh, and you know that that part feels good to to know that like it hit a lot of people at the end um, who are now just kind of discovering Beardo for the first time. Like, I got a lot of new readers that never heard of it that are now going through the archives or, or picking up the books and going, oh, shit, what if I... I got, I got five books worth of material all of a sudden. That's really cool. So Oof. that part's really great. And they're thick books, too. Yeah, yeah. They're all yeah. They're, they're pretty big. They're like 150 pages each. So, I mean, there's like... There's like, I don't know, uh, 700-something pages worth of Beardo to look through, and like, I don't know how many strips that is, but it's a lot. That's what I... So... So wait, do you not know how many strips you've written for Be- uh, for Beardo? Uh, if I had to, if I had to guess, <laughs> usually each book was about three hundred strips, so that'd be like fifteen hundred. So yeah, it's a lot. I mean, it, it you know those rookie numbers push them up. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Oh, hold on a second. How many strips you got going? Hold on, <laughs> rookie number. But, I strip all the time on my Pornhub channel. I'm like like 1600. Was, yeah, we're going back to a different kind of stripping now. That's, I get it. <laughs> I know what's happening. Um, but yeah, know what I did. Uh, if we're gonna do that, can we bring the ladies back? Because I'd really just yeah. not prefer it be a goddamn sausage party. Like you're, what? You're the just fuck? sick of hearing me talk. Um, well, no, I just, I just, I just, no, it's just. I just really they don't. No I just, oh, that's fine. I just really don't want you and Razor having a goddamn stripping competition. I'd at least rather have females <laughs> involved enough. in it if we're gonna go that Hit way. Hit my music. That's all. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Sorry. Well, uh, to be honest, I think I gotta actually uh, get going pretty soon because uh, they. I gotta get these ladies back to their Airbnbs and hotels, respectively. I'm, oh. I'm driver tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to oh. do. You want to get the he, drops then while you play a song? Or he's something? he's he's got to he's got to he's got to take the ladies off, ladies and gentlemen. That is the case, and we will. <laughs> well, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some shit, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll be right back. You're gonna hear a moment of silence, and then you're gonna hear some uh, white shoes, black water, because I'm gonna let him keep his uh, shoes white, because you know the black water is over on the no fucks given hour, not on Super Nintendo. And this is Super Nintendo with Dan Doherty. We'll be right back with our top five and our verses. Uh, I apologize for the silence, but uh, that's what we're doing. And then listen to this Dan Doherty track. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Do it. White shoes, black water, and nothing in between. You can walk away whenever you like, but there's no way to get away clean. White shoes, black water, baby And nothing in between You're on my shoulder and I'm on your hip And I'm not on my feet but I'm watching my step Cause I know how you get when your shoes get a stub Even though I keep saying it makes you look tough White shoes, black water The shore's as black as ink and if you think that you're gonna float above it all Well, you surely ain't gonna sink Yeah, you're as slippery as an eel Gliding along a lake Trying not to be mistaken for another snake In the water Out in the black water, baby
while the other kids are busy building taller castles You're digging holes in the sand There's no ocean that I know that could ever, could ever fill it in Whether you're trying to dig up the dead or you're digging a hole just to bury your head Will you tell all your skeletons, give it a rest and a cow can I cause out of whatever's best? White shoes, pale skin, red lips, blue dress Yellow jacket, polka dotted handkerchief And, and don't, don't forget, forget the black water, baby Don't forget the black water, baby And in between, yeah You can walk away whenever you like But there's no way to get away clean White shoes, black water, baby And nothing in between And nothing in between And nothing in between And nothing in between Given radio. Every sports Wednesday starting in at 9 p.m. Catch the freaky fucked up beer hour with your host, the unknown factor, Chuckles. Yeah, that's some trippy ass shit right there. What the fuck? Yeah, you know what we're we talking about. We're talking about some good ass fucking horror movies. Sometimes we might be talking about some shitty movies, but sometimes we'll just make it exciting for y'all. It was fucking. I mean, it sounds weird. like a woman crossed with a cat, like this. Shrieking from your headphone. Something like some paranormal shit. Every month, yeah, they're gonna break in all the movies, man. Horror shit, you know, you love shit chopped up. All that good shit, yeah. Old school, new school, comparing them remakes. This is no fucks given. We do whatever the fuck we want. We love gore, we love death, sex, whatever the fuck keeps our enjoyment. Every fourth Wednesday, starting at 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So be sure to catch in at NoFucksGivenRadio.com. I've been haunted a long time, man. I'm not worried about that. We just love to enjoy watching. No fucks given. Can. I picked them just for you Yeah, that makes it sound like I'm a garbage figure Oh, if only that were true But I paid my money I paid my money I paid like a man I paid like a man I gave them to you Sunday by Monday In a landfill somewhere I wonder what I'm getting you But I paid my money I paid my money I paid like a man I paid like a man I gave them to you Sunday by Monday Flowers in the garbage
you Sunday by Monday. Flowers in the garbage can. That's all you ever give to me. I pay my money. I paid my money, babe. I pay like a man. Sunday by Monday Flowers in the garbage can Flowers in the garbage can Flowers in the garbage can Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. No fucks given radio. That's right. It's Super Nintendo. Had just Dan Doherty stopping by from Beardo Comics. It was a pleasure. Yeah. Shout out to him for stopping by. Uh, We still got a couple more things we got to do here, though, gentlemen. Right? And, Racer, what's our top five this week? This week, our top five is top five anti-heroes. Dude, are you absolutely positive we haven't done this before? Nope. We've done, like, top five villains. And whatever else. I, I swear remember. to God, right in this list, I was like, I feel like I've done this before. I checked. I checked before we did it, but there's a lot of, like, kind of like this top five villain. That's why I did it, this one, because we've already done a villain, and I think we've even done a Heroes, maybe. We've done, like, a Supernatural, top five Supernatural, but this one's anti-Heroes. <laughs> okay. Fuck. I don't know. Who wants to go first? Bro. How about you go first? You never go first. Oh, well, fair enough. I'll never go first. I do never go first, so I will go first. Well, man, you know if we're talking anti-heroes, <laughs> I'd like to think you guys both know that I'm going to be like Deadpool. Of course. Yeah. I knew yeah. that. I had a hunch. You know. I mean, for real, I would assume as much. Uh, I, I like to think... The Well, yeah, I would fuck, I would have put money on that. I would hope anybody that's listened to, like... 10 or 20 episodes of any show would put money on that, to be real fucking honest, or listen to a certain percentage of my music. Um, but the, for that, beyond that, man, like, uh, I like to think I was a little more surprised, maybe, because uh, Rorschach, man, from uh, yeah, Watchmen. Good one. Like, good I love it. And, and no, dude, like, that's classic anti hero, because he stands against ostensibly a god. And goes, fuck you. Your choice is I'm going to go fuck up what just happened because it's not the goddamn truth or you can murder me. Now eat my dick. And I love that about that character. Like, and he did it in Real both. Real quick, that, the, the villain, or the, the guy that killed Warshak's the new villain in the DC, that's the new mega event. That's who Superman and everybody's fighting. Dr. Manhattan? Yep, they put him in the DC universe. But okay, and I he, just wanted to say that real quick since you brought and it up. And he's a yeah. villain? Yeah, that's who, uh, yeah. that's who, uh, like Superman. I haven't read it, but Superman and them are fighting them, supposedly, which sounds cool on paper, but I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, yeah. Wait yeah. Cosplay. I'm a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the blue dick. Yeah, you gotta have the blue dick if you cosplay as uh, Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? For real, right? Uh, but beyond that, I got, uh, I got Constantine, because I love Constantine, man. That's a good uh, one, so. Yeah. Judge Dredd. Because what an asshole, right? Okay. And I mean, like, I'm talking like the Garth Ennis Judge Dredd, too. You know, fucking fuck Art. the com- or fuck the movies. Give me fucking the shit written by Garth Ennis. And then, uh, man, I'm fucking going to fucking butcher his last name. But uh, Tommy Mohan from fucking uh, Hitman, DC, Garth Ennis wrote okay. it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that, that motherfucker was dope. Right. He was a- Cool character. I didn't read that much about him, but I know a little bit about him. Oh, well, see, I pretty much read that whole series. It was interesting that Garth Ennis created a character in the DC universe and also killed him. Like spoilers, by the way, because I mean he did. He took that character from a full. Here's his introduction. He was in Metropolis, even murder. wasn't he? Like something like that. No, um, I God, yep. dude, he fucked. There were so many, like a lot of different characters actually came in and were in that comic book at different points. As far as like fucking right. Green Lantern, Batman, all kinds of shit. I um, thought Superman was in it once or something. I'm trying to remember. Um, I know Green Lantern probably had the biggest appearance in that comic book series as far as from what I read, uh, which I believe was most of it, or at least the largest bulk. There were a couple issues I never got a chance to. Um, but yeah, no, he, he was, ah, oh, fuck, man, I don't, 
I want to say he was closer to Gotham than he was Metropolis. But aren't Gotham okay, and Metropolis maybe, maybe technically? Gotham, yeah. I mean, aren't they really close? Kind of like across the river, supposedly. Or, yeah. You know. Yeah, they basically built the same city, New York City. Like, yeah. It's the bad side of New York City and the good side of New York City. That's all the fuck it is. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Since you put me on the spot, Racer, what's up? Sorry. What's your top five? My top five, let's see. I'm going to get a... My number one will be uh, Wolverine. Just because huh? he's kind of... Badass, in my opinion. One of my, he's, him and Spider-Man are like the main two stories I've read growing up. Number two, I'm surprised he didn't say The Darkness. Number three, Punisher. Number four, oh. Lobo. And number five, Deadpool. I'd like to I'd like to amend my list and take off Constantine and add The Darkness. I don't know why I didn't say that either. <laughs> <laughs> the Darkness? I mean, Lobo? Like, I was kind of surprised. I, I, I don't know. Well, yeah, Lobo, uh, Lobo, not so much, man. Out of those, because I mean, yeah. Dread and Tommy and Rorschach are all above, are all above Lobo for me. But yeah, I mean, I got a fucking goddamn lith of the darkness right in front of me on my on my fucking wall. I don't know why the fuck. Yeah, I was stupidity on my part. I don't know why I didn't say that. Whatever, DKB, what's up? Uh, I don't have a particular order here, but since Race already said, it, I'll start out with Punisher because. He's the original, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah um, I know, yeah. I did change one of my answers because <laughs> argue with me about Batman. But look, so look, if you want to, if you want to say Batman's a fucking antihero, you can say Batman's an antihero. I just personally don't okay. think because I'll take him if, off my list just because yeah. I get tired of hearing about you bitching about it. Man, man, look, because <laughs> no, I was looking at a bunch. He was on a bunch of lists too, as far as yeah. top ten and whatever anti heroes. So apparently, think that. I mean, that. I can make the case, but yeah, I, yeah. Kind of me out of it. so I replaced him with somebody else with the start of the B, and that would be Blade. Yeah, he does Marie. Dope go character. With, uh, v for V from Vendetta. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see four Spawn. I always love Spawn characters. Yeah, he's an agent of hell. So yeah, I can see that. And then my fifth one, I'm going to go with Deathstroke. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. See, the anti-hero thing, uh, I'll say, guys, for me is, like, I could sit and be like, yo, these are my top anti-heroes and probably make a list of, like, 25 characters. Yeah, that's an interesting they're genre. good. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are, you know, they'll kill people, but then they'll do shit. Yeah. yeah. Right. I think I'm those not, are the best I'm kind of characters, man. Yeah. Internal struggles. Yeah. Hell, fuck yeah, man. And Racer, my bad. I didn't have enough. We didn't have enough track for me. I almost wanted to throw like a James Bond or something like that in there, but mm. I stuck to the traditional shit. I mean, Why? James Bond technically is very much an anti-hero. He kills right. a lot of people. He sleeps with women. You could, yeah, you could broaden that list. You could, yeah, you could probably have a different top five if we did it next week. Oh no! I, oh yeah! You know, you know. Comics. <laughs> yeah no, cool. we do top five <laughs> non-comic book anti-heroes because I guarantee there's a shitload. Let's see who the guest is first, and then we'll figure out what. Fair enough, fair enough, because we do always kind of, but that's besides the point. Yeah, but I like. Hey, fuck that! Fuck that! Hey, Bruce Willis, fucking John McClane's an anti-hero. That's all I know. Okay, hey. motherfucker, what's up? We got some motherfuckers gonna kill one another. We got the last verses of the tournament. Before it gets like done, nutty. Huh? Like first round. Coming to the close. Who we got? We got Racer Wish versus Mr. Mix Plick <laughs> Mix Plicky Lick. <laughs> yeah. Mix Yes Pitlick. Yeah. It's what DKB there. said. <laughs> Mix Yes Pitlick. Like I said, yeah, no, what, he's a yeah. he's a Superman villain from the fourth dimension he's, or the fifth he's dimension. A fifth dimension amp, yeah. If you don't know what the fifth dimension is, that's your imagination. He's pretty much invincible, unless you say his name backwards. Well, then, man, look, uh, I started out but, on the top five. I ain't starting out on the verses. I see we make DKB. He went last on the top five. DKB, in this, well, who you got? Talk about, uh, Scarlet, let's talk about Scarlet Witch. Let's see, you know. She has a prob- uh, probability manipulation, reality warping, chaos magic. All right. I yeah, mean, she's pretty much. Mix, mix, yeah. Pick lick. 
like uh, Racer said, he's a fifth dimension imp, which you know that comes from <laughs> your mind. He can he can pretty much do the fuck anything he wants because it's all in your mind. Like Racer said, you say his name backwards, you go back. He goes back to his dimension. You also go back there, I believe. No, he goes back for ninety small. days or something. But he, he maybe tried. he did that. Yeah, if it's like three months or some shit. And then he can days. come back three months later if he wants. Yeah, ninety days, and then he comes what, back and then to you just, power. And then you he has say unlimited his name power again? over the three D universe. So if Scarlet Witch is in the three D universe. I don't see how she could be. It'd be a good <laughs> fight, but I think yeah. And he can. I mean, he can basically alter any three D law he wants. But yeah. now. Here's my counterpoint in that can't Scarlet Witch pretty much kind of do the same thing with the uh, chaos magic. I mean, that bitch at one point recreated the whole fucking Marvel that because he's not from this dimension. He's from your imagination. Uh, that's true. So he's you don't think he's, he's kind of a dork, so it might work in his advantage if she fights. Nature. Yeah, he's stupid. And he's dumb <laughs> enough to fall for his own tricks. That's how Superman keeps getting him back to his own dimension. So now, okay. but in. Where are we picking Scarlet Witch from here as far as, like, are we taking her where she's a little mentally broken? Because that bitch was always kind of, like, slightly unstable, at least a little. I'm going to say when she was the strongest was when she was House of M and she killed, stopped all the mutants. Okay. She also well, killed the Avengers, too. She, like, this, this, this M, or Avengers disabled. She's yeah, Avengers that. disassemble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number, no, yeah that's a dope comment. Her first comic. appearance was number four, X-Men, 1964. March 1964. Yep. So here's my okay. So you're saying though that this motherfucker is, wouldn't be affected right. by her powers. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think. I mean, maybe he would be, but I don't see how if he's not even from this dimension. He's just yeah, got to be stupid enough to go back to his dimension. You can't fucking defeat him ever because he's in your mind. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's pretty crazy. You think about it. Well then, yeah. I mean, and this is to the death. So <laughs> after, he, yeah, after he goes back into his dimension, all his effects are gone, though. Yeah. So it's not like they stick around if he had like some chaos magic on you or some shit. Uh, yeah, I'm man, man. I'm gonna have to give it. I'm gonna say Mixy Plick, I guess. Mix Plick and Lick. Mix uh, is Pit Lick. I gotta go with him too. Yeah. What, what you guys you said? Because I really, I, I'll Mr. tell you what Mickey I think. Mixy Pit Lick. It is. Yeah, you, well, you know what the downfall, I think, of the Scarlet Witch would honestly be? Is you say that motherfucker's kind of goofy and falls for his own tricks. That bitch is psychotic and doesn't know what reality is because she shifts it all yeah, the time. She's pretty unstable. It, yeah, especially Mary if we're talking Mary about the House of M. <laughs> well, yeah, if you're talking about the House of M moment, though, that's where, yeah, she was married to Vision, gave her, created kids that she and, thought and, she and had with Vision. Scarlet Witch is apparently born with the ability to utilize witchcraft, too, so... She's yeah, since, since the X-Men by Fox, they kind of want to rearrange her shit again. So, so she's not like Magneto's kid anymore, basically. I mean, kind of, I don't know, it's all weird. Like I said, they they change it because of the X-Men movies. Man, they <clears throat> changed so much shit. But no, yeah, Scarlet Witch is so done. Do, I do really... we have a list now of the, the eight for the tournament? Oh, go Jesus. Through that. Oh, let's see. You're gonna make me grab papers, basically. I gotta grab papers for that. So technically, it's there too, but whatever. So what? What? Yeah. That means. So wait, gentlemen, are we gonna do a special broadcast and just break this all down until fucking winter, or what? Or are we just gonna take the next round into the next show? We can do it either way. Let's well, we'll think. We'll think about it. Yeah, we'll think about it. We'll have yeah. a plan by next show. Yeah, we'll, we'll have, have a plan. Next. When we fucking come on next time, ladies and gentlemen, we'll figure out what we're doing. But just so you all know, the second round in the fucking yeah, Super Nintendo death match we got over here is first round, or first competitors. Man, we got Hellstorm versus Ash of Evil Dead. All right? That's a good one. All right. Yeah. All right. Then we got Vamprella versus Dr. David Lauren from Think Tank. <laughs> that's that's, yeah. that's interesting, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Then we got poor yeah. Arse Face, poor poor <laughs> Arse Face, going against the Silver Surfer. <laughs> right. Yeah, about that, that one. That seems a little unbalanced. Just saying, yeah, guys. Happens. Happens. Right? Right. And then we got the darkness. Yeah, going against yeah. whatever. Mixio's Pitlick. 
<laughs> yeah, the Mister Dude. That's you gotta go to the darkness, darkness world to fight him. That'd be interesting. I mean, if it was a fucking, uh, I mean, if it was a fucking completely black void that they were in, I really think fucking Jackie could win in that case. But we'll get into that shit more, ladies and gentlemen, at a later fucking point in time. Racer, final thoughts before we get up out this bitch? Uh, it was a good episode. Got to talk to Dan. He's going to kill me in his book. This sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds good, <laughs> though. How's he going to kill one of the hosts, though, man? Like, that just seems kind of rude. Yeah, I guess at least... Yeah, he comes back, hey, so. yeah, yeah, as we said, at least he's bringing him back. That's dope. That's dope. I will say that. DKB, final thoughts? No, I'm just over here stroking my beard. Uh, good show. Glad to be back on. How it goes, yeah. Wait, your beard? Motherfucker, you ain't got a beard. (laughs) I kind of do. There's hair on me. I'm sorry I don't have a fucking lumberjack beard. I ain't trying to chop down no fucking trees. You saying I got a lumber... Wait, you saying I got a lumberjack beard? I didn't say nothing about you. (laughs) I'm just saying. That was just... Plum rude. I'm just that saying. Was rude. Yeah, I, I did. I really rude. look. I, I shaved. I shaved like a motherfucker okay. today. You did. For real. I did. I seen I, some baby face over there. That's hey man, you. look. It's because I was trying to trim my goatee down and I fucked up. And I was like, well, fuck it. And I took it down to this. So what are you gonna do? Yeah. You know, yeah. For real. Sometimes you I'll fuck be at up. Come and... October 14th. Hopefully, oh, I will too. Already. Yeah. Hopefully, I will too. You can also. I will be. Yeah. You can also catch my ass this weekend at Terry and Titletown, ladies and gentlemen. Next weekend at Trilogy up at Cheers yeah, fucking pub in South Bend. And then hopefully, hopefully if all that shit goes well and I didn't die or fucking fall over from exhaustion, I'll also be at Kokomo Con. That's fucking right, ladies and gentlemen. But this, yeah, has been the Super Nerd Tindo. And I don't want that track, God damn it. I want a different track. I fucking, I don't know what track I'm going for here. I gotta say one more thing. October twenty sixth is Halloween Comic Fest, which is like free comic book day with Halloween comics. So go to your local bookstore, comic store, and get some free comics. Hell yeah! Bring the kids out. Hell yeah! That's time. right. Thank you, bro. You gave me a perfect fucking exit because that's what you do. You get out, get you some free fucking comics, and break that shit down. And this is right. Break It Down by the Comic Book Killers. Have a good night, y'all. Super Nintendo. Later. Peace. Break it down, roll it up, that's the way we turn it up Put some drink up in this cup, light it up and take a puff Break it down, go on and break it down Roll it, light it, smoke it, pass it 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 Break it down, roll it up That's the way we turn it up Everybody put your motherfucking hands up Ooh, I love that sticky stuff Moon rocks got me high as fuck Just can't seem to get enough Yo, OP, go ahead and pack one up It's some goodness in a baggie Gonna roll another fatty Got me feeling high as shaggy If you smoking, going at me I be chilling, feel the Gucci Yeah, the smoke is flowing through me Seen the ghost like I was Scooby Damn, bum, I got that boot Now when I see my weed, dude There's lots of flavors and it's hard to choose OG or Gorilla Glue White gold, is that purple too? Just remember what we made you do If you buy them all, then you can't lose Let's break it down, roll it up Light it, smoke it, that's the stuff Break it down, roll it up That's the way we turn it up Put some drink up in this cup Light it up and take a puff Break it down Go on and break it down Roll it, light it, smoke it, pass it 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 Break it down, roll it up That's the way we turn it up Everybody put your motherfucking hands up In black Always in the background Straight back that I'll never turn the weed down Paper swishes, wax is vapor Smoke so much of the devil's less My piss is resonating Only grade AA will make it Nothing underrated Hate to grade in other terms I'm fucking faded When I was a kid I promised mom I never touch drugs and didn't want the drama But marijuana solved my problems Alleviate pain, release them sorrows Roll up like no tomorrow I'm a tenacious G when I'm choosing weed You feeling me? Cause I'm feeling cheese inside my bong 
it's destiny. Break it down, roll it up. That's the way we turn it up. Put some drink up in this cup. Light it up and take a puff. Break it down. Go on and break it down. Roll it, light it, smoke it, pass it. 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 Break it down, roll it up. That's the way we turn it up. Everybody put your motherfucking hands up.